Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm crocheting a plus size comfy crochet sweater. To see how it's made, please stay tuned. The yarn of choice is Studio Classic by Nicole and I'm using the color orange. You need a pair of scissors and I'm using the 9mm M hook and you also need a stitch marker. I use bobby pins. So for this pattern you want to measure around your hips and you want to cut that in half because you're going to make two panels. So when I measure around my hips, I chained 58, but you also want to do it in multiples of 10, so I went up to 60. So I chained 60 stitches for each of my panels. So here are my 60 stitches. Now I'm going to chain one, and in the second chain from the hook, I'm going to do a single crochet. So chain one and in the second chain from the hook do one single crochet. In the next one I'm going to do a double crochet. And that's basically the pattern. Single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, double crochet. So I started off with chaining one and did a single crochet. Now I'm doing a double crochet in the next stitch and in the next stitch I'm going to do a single crochet. Then a double crochet and a single crochet. So now I'm doing a single crochet. And a double crochet. So you're going to continue that pattern all the way down the chain. So here I am at the end of my first row and I have two stitches left. So I'm going to do a single crochet and then end with a double crochet. So you start with a single crochet and you want to end with a double crochet. So in the final stitch I'm doing a, a double crochet. First row is done. So now I'm going to turn my work I'm going to chain one every time you start a new row you chain one so you remember you start off with a single crochet next it's a double crochet and you're going to go right under the two loops and now a single crochet and again you continue this pattern all the way down the row so I did this for the body of the work before I got to my increases and I actually did 36 rows. So here I am at my 36th row and I'm ending it with my double crochet so you want to crochet your body all the way up until it gets right underneath your bust. So when it gets right underneath your bust then you know that you have a long enough sweater so then you can start increasing for your arms and your neck hole. So again, I'm ending it with a double crochet. So that's my body of the work, 36 rows. So I turn my work. Chain one. Now it's time to start the increases because now you have to start crocheting for your arm. So my first row of increase, I'm going to do two single crochets in the first two stitches. 
So that's one. And in the same hole, I'm going to do another single crochet. And I'm going to do the same thing for the next stitch. One single crochet. And in the same hole, another single crochet. And then I continue with the regular pattern. So two single crochets in the first two stitches and then single crochet. So just like I'm starting off on a whole new row, so single crochet and then double crochet. And then single crochet and then double crochet. And you're going to continue that down until you get to the last two stitches. So I'm at the end of the first increase row at the last two stitches and I'm going to do two single crochets in each of the last two stitches. So that's one single crochet and that's the second single crochet in the same hole. In the last hole, one single crochet. And then another single crochet. And that will end that first increase row. Okay, then you're going to turn your work. And you're going to work the original pattern for the next two rows. So chain one. Do one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet. And you're going to do that for two rows. So one row of increase and then two rows of the regular pattern. And you're going to continue that again for two rows. So here I am at the second of the original pattern row. It's one single crochet and I'm ending it off with a double crochet. I put my stitch marker there just to see where I started my first increase. So that's my first increase and those are my two regular pattern rows. Now I turn my work and I'm going to do another row of increase. So this is my second increase row. I'm going to do two single crochets in the first stitch. So this is my second one. And I'm going to do two single crochets in the next stitch. It's one and two. Now let's go back to the original pattern. So one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet. And when you get down to the end, again, do two single crochets in each of those two stitches. And you're going to do this four times. So you need four increase rows. So one increase row, two regular in the middle. One increase row, two regular in the middle. One increase row, two regular in the middle. One increase row. So here I am. At the end of my increase row, that's one single crochet, second single crochet in the same hole, one single crochet, and the second single crochet in the same hole. And again, you need four increase rows. You're going to continue that. So that's one increase row. Two in the middle, one increase row, two in the middle, one increase row, two in the middle, one increase row. So here I am. So here's my one. Here's my second one. Here's my third one. And I'm doing my fourth one now. So two single crochets. each of the last two stitches to end it off. 
So once I have my fourth increase row, I'm going to continue with the regular pattern until my sweater is completely done. So that's my fourth. Now I'm going to go back to the original. So I turn my work, chain one, one single crochet, one double crochet. And I did that for a total of 16 rows to finish off my sweater. And you remember, you're going to need two panels. So here's my sweater completely done. Both panels are completely finished. Now I'm going to stitch up the sides and see where my stitch markers are. That's where my arm holes are going to be. So I'm going to stitch up to each of the stitch markers. And the two at the top is where my neck holes are going to be. So I'm going to stitch from that arm to the center of my neck. So I've stitched my sweater closed on both sides. And the final thing is to add single crochet rows to give it a little oomph at the bottom. So I did three wrap around single crochet rows at the bottom and on the arm sleeve. Or you can leave it like this. Totally up to you. Thank you so much for watching. Here's the final product.